Hey, 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 it's Adele from Let's Get Inky and I have a junk journal process video for you today. I am getting close to finishing this junk journal up and I can't wait to make my next one. I've been collecting some papers and I've already got the front cover. I just need to work on the rest of it. Uh, so for this one, I wanted to start with a focal image of some sort. So I went through a fashion magazine, I think it was Bizarre possibly. And I was just looking through to see if there was anything that, you know, took my eye and um, was a pretty image that I wanted to use. I like to, I like to start with my focal image and then branch off from there because the focal image often uh, leads me in the direction of what colours I'm using or if there's particular stencils that I want to use to replicate leaves in the background or flowers. Uh, so in the end I do end up going with that image that's on the top there and I usually pull out a couple of options. I don't like to do too many because then I get very overwhelmed by how many pictures I've chosen uh, but I find that it is handy to have a few so that uh, next time I've already got some picked out and I can just go through that pile before grabbing another magazine. So I kept the title in this one uh, out of the ordinary and I just thought it was was something that I could work with. Uh, sometimes I do cut around the figure uh, and this girl's having a lovely snooze in the grass. Uh, so straight away my thought went to like flowers and leaves and how I could incorporate those in this project. But first off I need to stick down my image and I'm just using a glue stick uh, this is a blue stick and so it goes down blue uh, which is really handy because you can see where you've stuck the glue and where you're missing some spots and the reason why I like to use glue stick is I find that it gives a much smoother um, stickiness of my, for a technical term. My image is less bumpy. You could also use a, like a gift card or a small ruler to uh, move any uh, air bubbles that get trapped under your picture. But I, I don't mind a few bubbles here and there. It gives it some texture. Uh, but I don't want her whole face to be a bubble, which has definitely happened in the past. But I would, I would recommend if you are buying a glue stick to start out art journaling, splash and get the expensive one because I have tried with the cheapy glue sticks and although they're very tempting, they also, you will suffer the consequences of things not sticking um, and it's just not worth it in the, in the long run. Glue sticks are one thing, I think it's because uh, if you're new to my channel, I used to be a school teacher and trying to teach uh, a room of 30 kindergartens, so five and six year olds, how to use glue sticks has taught me that just go the expensive ones the cheap ones are not are not worth the, um, the stress and the fun of it I added a few bits of washi tape and that washi was actually from a lot of the things I'm using are from the James Luke Burke creator box which came out last year and I filmed this video last year but then had a baby and I lost this footage and I found it again uh, so I wanted to upload it uh, so the box isn't available anymore I don't think but uh, this washi tape was from Job's Journal who's a fellow fab YouTuber and if I'm positive he has released some of his own uh, washi tapes so if you're interested you can look at them over there on his channel and then I'm using some of the die cuts that are included uh, as well they were nice and big uh, so I wanted to make sure that I just used one I was just trying to figure out which one to go with did I want to go with a leafy theme or did I want to go with what I usually do which is more of the the floral uh, side of things. So in the end I found a, I'm pretty sure it was a sunflowery daisy type flower. There it is. Um, and I, when I think of this flower, I know it's black and white, but for some reason I immediately thought of yellow and you can see I was having a very indecisive day. <laughs> <laughs> the day that I filmed this, uh, I was probably filming it with a lot of baby brain, uh, but I I automatically just thought of yellow for some reason. And isn't it funny how there's so many things that if you see them in a black and white image, you immediately also relate them to a color. 
and who knows in real life this flower might might have been purple but for some reason I just immediately thought of yellow so I had already applied some gesso uh, to my page and I'm going in with my Liquitex acrylic inks and I've put a little bit of color at the top and then I'm using my just a water spray bottle to move the pattern and kind of diffuse it a little bit so that it's not so drippy uh, and then I'm just using my heat gun to dry that up and you can see I have curled the top of my page because I'm a little bit impatient with my heat gun and may have held it a tiny bit too close uh, I'm then grabbing my uh, Liquitex matte gel medium and I'm sticking down some of the tissue paper which had the little doodles from the stamp that I designed uh, for this creator box and I'm sticking that down just to give a little bit of something in the background because I felt like it looked a bit too blank. Uh, so then I'm sticking down the flower also with matte gel medium which is a really handy medium to add to your stash if you're new to art journaling. You can use it like a glue, you can use it kind of like a primer if you've got a, a slippery glossy magazine image and you want to draw over the top of it or um, add some sort of medium over the top of it, a coat of matte gel medium will take that gloss away and you can also use it as a top coat. Uh, so if you stick a whole lot of things down and you're worried about them flying back up again or coming unstuck, you can put some matte gel medium on it and it is matte, uh, so keep that in mind, uh, but it does kind of smooth everything down using a few more little bits of washi tape here and then some matte gel medium I, I like to when i can put matte gel medium over the top of washi uh, in my art journals just because i don't trust the weather in australia it gets it gets a little warm and washi tape is usually the first thing i find that um likes to uh, abort the page that it's on <laughs> it likes to um, run off it's it's done Sticking some of um, Ali Brown's little washi uh, stickers down there. And then I wanted another focal image. So I went through the little booklet that uh, James had designed to put in the creator box. And I found this girl and I thought she matched because the girl in the focal image has a golden tinge to the picture. Uh, I think because of the time of day that it was taken and this one was very orange. Now the reason why I'm not using matte gel medium for this is because the paper is a lot thicker and I didn't think the matte gel medium would be able to stick it down uh, very successfully. So I decided to just use my normal wet glue which is the Scotch Tacky Glue and then I'm using some of the stamp that I designed. It's very exciting. If, if you would like to see more stamps in the future, please let me know and who knows what might happen. Um, I would love to release some physical products. So let me know in the comments uh, what you would be interested in, if anything. Uh, I've got a couple of ideas that I'm working on in between um, the kids and all the fun of being at home with kids. Uh, but yes, let me know. Let me know your thoughts there. I also added my pink, uh, I added some pink ink to my sprinkly little stamp as well. I just wanted another hit of a color and I thought hot pink went well with the orange and the yellow and it tied in with that other girl illustration as well. I grabbed some paint pens because always love a good paint pen and then I had a off cut uh, so I decided to just stick that down on this little piece as well and then I'm just going along and doing some mark making in a few different sections just I like to overlap the background with the uh, foreground with the the images that I stick down and I just think that the mark making ties it all together it's kind of like uh, it's kind of like stitching in a way it I feel like it secures it down and because I do the marks across both sides of the page, it uh, gives a bit of a flow and continuity across the pages. So I'm adding some lines and some dots, whatever shapes decide to flow out of my pen. And I didn't want to do colors that were too bold, um, but I stuck mainly to warm colors for this page. So yellows, pinks, oranges. And then I did chuck in a little hint of turquoise 
just because well, it was kind of like a aquary color I think uh, just to tie in the leaves that were in the back of uh, James's illustration and to give it something a little pop that wasn't too in your face it's not like I was doing bright blue birds or something big in the background it's just a subtle little pop of color and then I wanted to do some sort of writing. I always like to do some sort of uh, brush lettering or a scripty quote of some sort on my art journal pages. It's just the style that I've come to find that I like. Uh, so I wanted to tie in something here that wasn't too invasive. I didn't want to draw all across the page. Um, just something nice and subtle that makes you kind of double look at the page. And then I decided to pull out the watercolors because I wanted some splatterings and I felt like the watercolors would give me a softer splatter than the acrylic inks. Uh, the acrylic inks are quite inky because it's acrylic based, whereas these watercolors are funnily enough a bit more watery because they're watery based. <laughs> and that's very, very technical uh, terms over here on let's get inky but it's true that it's, it's more of a watery splat and especially when you sop up some of it with a paper towel it takes out that intensity and I just wanted something in the background just to give a little nod of yellow especially on that left hand side uh, without it being too bold and without getting acrylic ink everywhere because it's very tempting uh, not very tempting it's very likely that whenever I splatter acrylic ink it goes in the places that I don't want it to go like right on her face or something I wanted another hit of um, some sort of writing so I'm just doing a couple of little uh, journaling bits here and there using my food ball pilot food ball and or is it pentel pilot I think it's pilot uh, and the page is all done so I hope you enjoyed it I uh, wasn't going to upload it because the creative box isn't available anymore I don't think um, but I thought it would give you some ideas with using color and using a magazine image as a jumping off point uh, and then just playing with your supplies and seeing what things you like the best and how to include them on your page all right peeps have a great week and I'll see you very soon bye